Sparky DX, <gasps> more like Crappy YZ. <laughs> For business uses turned into nearly 12 years of char random characters getting grounded. Originally founded in 2007 by a man named Alvin Hook, who just simply wanted to make simple animations for his wife. He made this website so that people could easily make animated shorts or movies until around uh, 2011 when all the grounding videos really began. Um, the website was pretty quiet and completely different from what it is today. Uh, while yes, I did grow up with these videos, until uh, my mom didn't let me watch them. Um, it does not mean these videos were very good, just because they're nostalgic. Uh, and today, here's the reason why I'm not a fan of Go Anime or Vion. I don't care, I'm calling it Go Anime, okay? Um, so, here's why I think Go Anime is not good. The first and by far most famous type of videos are the grounding videos, which include characters getting grounded such as Dora, Arthur, or even more famous, Caillou. <laughs> also, Caillou was uh, called Kalu in the series because of the limited text-to-speech uh, pronunciations. So instead of so we're gonna call this version of Caillou Kalu and the uh, regular Caillou Caillou, I guess. Um so Really, these grounding videos really range from getting in trouble at school, misbehaving at restaurants, to committing actual felonies such as destroying cities, to literally starting World War III. How did this even happen? Wouldn't you have to be like tried and then sentenced to life in prison rather than just being grounded? Well, it is a Go Anime video, what do you expect? Yeah, characters will even get grounded for silly reasons or even just no reason at all. So, yeah, great parents, right? Yeah, there are even completely original characters getting grounded like Dylan, Cooper, or even new, Violet. Yeah, Go Anime videos got so big on the grounding that it just became a whole subsection. Like, I think even on the on oh, on Wikipedia on Kai's article that he literally he, he used to have the grounded videos on uh on his page like that's how big these grounded videos really got and it, it's really what made it like popular really it all started in 2011 like I said which this is one of the biggest videos I've ever so uh, yeah let's move on. All right, next we have those um, behavior card videos. You know, the ones where um, the characters either get like tons of rewards, graduating forever for their favorite characters, and um, for the video creator's least favorite characters, they're in dead meat. Which, I have, which means you're expelled forever. And um, yeah, you, yeah, and then also morphs into them being grounded as well. Um, so pretty much the whole deal is just um, it's just pure bias at this point. It feels like it's, like the, it's really biased to the creators usually, and almost are completely unrealistic. I'm not saying all are like this, but some. I mean, really. And also another thing I've noticed in all the Go Animate videos is like whenever a character gets really, really angry, like really flashy, like lights and anger and all that stuff, will um appear you, you know like all the like a bunch of chaos will go on to the foregrounds which is uh kind of uh i don't know how to describe it just just plain crazy in my opinion so this is like just a favorite to least fairy character list and it's usually the same thing over and over again to me but like i said this is all my opinion okay Next up, we have all the amount of repetition and recycling that the Go Anime community can do sometimes. I mean, a lot of these videos are like clones of each other. Like, a lot of these are just like, these, these are copied from like other TV shows or even their own videos. Like, they're all like copied and sometimes they feel like formulaic to me. Like, they're extremely predictable. I mean, the, the title literally gives it away well, lots about, but... But, like, I mean, 
a lot of the video just feels very like repeated like it's done over and over again like a like a bunch of youtubers have already done it like for example here's some examples of like i don't know um characters misbehaving at breakfast yeah that's how many go in and make misbehaves at breakfast videos there are i'm sure there's countless go animate videos that are cloned from either uh intellectual property or just from other go animate videos in general because honestly a lot and also a lot of the plots of the go anime videos are very very rinse and repeat even down to the very script of the video is almost identical with just some like changes of the who the who's in it that's pretty much that's the whole formula is like it's just it's it's very like cliche and repeated like i know not all go animators have this issue but i'm just gonna point it out that some have some go animate videos have these um issues it's just some constructive criticism, so don't get angry with me, please. Thank you. Alright, the last part of the video dedicates to the Go Anime community. The Go Anime community can seriously engage in a lot of toxic behaviors, such as quote unquote threatening to ground users, which, yeah, may not seem pet, which seems like weak and petty, but in reality, once you realize what's in the content of the video, yeah, it's flat out wrong and actually hurts people's feelings, and it's practically cyberbullying, so that should honestly be stopped. And another thing I've noticed is that how the community treats Alvin Hung. Like, they just straight up despise him for no reason. Like, just because he does things to his website that you, you don't like. Like, literally, there are seriously other websites if you really don't like Go Anime the way Alvin Hung does it nowadays. So, why not just, like, go on Rapper Offline, which is made by Go Anime Community, rather than just targeting Alvin Hung for literally no reason? No more, and I'm tired of all the death threats that he's gotten. I'm not in the community anymore, but death threatening people is just flat out horrible and should never be engaged. Seriously. Anyway, I'm going to dedicate the last half of this video to just saying something. Listen, just because I talked about the Go anime community engaging in some toxic behaviors occasionally, it doesn't mean it's a, it's a, it's a majority, because it's only... It's not that common anymore, I don't think. And even if it is common, there are ways to just get rid of how the, be the behavior is. We can moderate people. We can, not, we can moderate each other as best as we could. We can check on their behavior, you know, be kind to each other, not issue the golden rule, you know. Treat others the way you want to be treated because no fan of your gotcha life. Just because I don't like the original gotcha life thing, because it is redeemable. It's up to you to decide on how your community should be. Because you can keep a nice and healthy community, or you can, you know, do or the latter. Because honestly, I really do sincerely hope for the best for all communities. This is I wasn't just trying to bash you all in that previous um, segment. But I was just really trying to engage, encourage you all just to, you know, hope, hopefully some of you out there to clean up your act. Because while I'm not in the community, I was a fan back in 2014, like I said, until my mom came um, from this house until I was 17. Anyway, get back on topic. Um, I sincerely hope for all fans to community, even if they're not exactly, even if they're not considered toxic. It's up to you whether or not you want to keep your community fresh, okay? Keep it on a lighter note. Thank you for more than 92 subscribers. And, um, thanks for.
for the opportunity for giving me the opportunity to make this video. Sorry it's late, but I was just, I kind of forgot about it for a little bit, and um, I'm glad I made it. Even though it took me like three days to make. Yeah, the long, the longest time I ever took to make a video. Anyway, I'm so glad that y'all enjoyed it, and um, yeah, I'm sorry to include like everything, but I just didn't want to. So um, yeah, you can comment whatever I forgot in the comments or something. Um, so really, thank you all for 192 subscribers once again, and, um, if you like more of this stuff, subscribe to my channel, and, um, 